So just going to specifically to international sales, and I remember I keep, I've been asking this question for a number of years now, but as somebody who sells internationally, have you felt an impact of having a Netflix and Amazon out there potentially licensing projects before they need to be sold? Because is that, so I, mean, I asked that question about four years ago in Cannes, I was at a panel and somebody was a keynote speaker and in a room that was probably 85% international sales agents, he pretty much said to them, in four years you're not gonna have a job because Netflix is gonna take your job away. And, and no. literally, I was looking for the exit because I thought they were going to kill this right. guy. Um, <laughs> no. but, uh, but I don't think Our, it has happened. But that was I'm, an interesting the theory five years ago to think. Well, that. it's interesting. That's a really great question. I have a hard example for that because I own my company 100%. We have no debt. There's 12 people. We have 300 titles. And Netflix, Amazon, HBO, Universal, they've all helped me build my company. So they've all been partners with me. They're great clients. They're really important to us. It hasn't stopped us, it's helped us. It's really about valuing your product and making sure you don't get into this no man's land of where people lose a lot of money, which is the, the, what's happened in the marketplace is not that it's become impossible to sell or you can sell everything. It's really content has become very specific. And in the independent, in, in, independent American film space, you either make something very inexpensively that has breakout potential and you have backstop value for it, or you go very aggressively and you go big budget, which are the studio films, the big Netflix movies, the big Amazon films, the big HBO series. And those really work. Um, in the middle ground is where you can get hurt from an investment standpoint. And that's the part that I think is really important in regards to analyzing where the business is going. It's not going that I'm gone or you're gone. It's like the product has to be more and more specific in regards to who it goes to and uh, very much cost conscious for independence. Mm -hmm.